In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this modern looking wooden wall clock. The design is very simple and all you need is a wood panel, a piece of plywood, a clock mechanism and some basic woodworking tools. For this project, I'm using an 18 mm thick solid wood panel, but you can always use some different type of wood that you already have at home. To begin, I'm going to cut the wood panel at 35 by 35 cm using a handsaw. You can make larger or smaller clock depending on the space on the wall where you want to place it. I wanted to make a clock that looks like it is falling apart, so I drew 10 squares on the bottom right corner and cut them 5 by 5 cm. Next, I found the center point of the clock on the back of the panel. I made a slot for the mechanism using a drill with two different sizes of Forstner bit. I used the chisel to make the perfect size of the slot. Then I drilled a hole for the shaft of the clock. Once I'm done cutting and drilling, I do a little sanding using 120 grit sandpaper. Now it is time to connect all the pieces together. I thought the easiest way to connect them is using a plywood and nails. I chose 3 mm thick plywood and cut 18 small pieces of it. Then I connected all the squares using 13 mm long nails and a mallet. Make sure to place all the pieces of plywood on the connection points of the squares. That way they won't be visible on the front side of the clock. The next step is to spray both sides of the clock. I used yellow spray paint, but you can choose any color you want. The secret to get the perfect paint job is to spray from at least 20 cm distance, always keep your hand moving and put a several lighter coats to avoid drips. Leave it until it is completely dry before you draw the clock numbers. I drew the numbers 3, 6, 9 and 12 with a pencil because it is much easier to make corrections with a rubber. And then I repeated them with a black permanent marker. For the hanger I used two screws and a wire. Be sure to make it wide enough so that you can easily move it horizontally when hanging the clock on the wall. The final step is installing the mechanism and adding the hour hand followed by the minutes. This is the final result. Thank you so much for watching and let me know what you think in the comments below. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up and be sure to subscribe.